to talk about the most important signing on signing day. Uh, we're very fortunate to have signed a, a, a new extension with Jim Rutherford. Uh, Jim's going to answer a few questions. If you have any questions for me afterwards, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, we're very excited about Jim signing his extension. Uh, I said this two years ago when we, when we signed him the first time. Uh, we're very fortunate that he's even interested in coming to Pittsburgh. He's exactly the kind of person that we need here with the Pittsburgh Penguins, and he proved it in two years. Uh, everything that Jim said he was going to do from the first interview when we talked to him, he's accomplished. Uh, he's an extraordinary individual, a good friend, an outstanding human being, and we're lucky to have him. Okay, thanks, David. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm very pleased to to be staying on longer. I've uh, grown to even uh, like Pittsburgh more than what I thought when I first got here. I knew it was a great place to be and my wife and my son love it here and uh, it's uh, it's turned out to be really good and I'm with the best organization in the league. We have great ownership with Mario and Ron. They give us great leadership all the time and provide the resources that, that we need to be successful and uh, Ops uh, right now and, uh, and a very good team, so I uh, feel pretty good about staying on. Jim, the, when you came here, you did talk about mentoring some of these guys. You talked about Jason being a guy that you know should be on the radar of teams yep. looking for a GM. Now that you're here for three years, do you anticipate being able to keep that staff together as much as you'd like, knowing how far they've come? Yeah, you, you know, you really don't know. I mean, uh, we've We've never held anybody back if they get an opportunity. Um, and uh, we'll just have to see where that goes. But uh, like I said, we I, I have very good guys that I work with. It, it makes it a lot easier for, for my job. How much did this group in this year re-energize you to want to do this for a few more years? Uh, before we even got going, you know, in December, we were starting to, David and I were starting to talk a little bit about it. So. I mean, obviously, when you win, you feel a lot better about it. Um, but I think that uh, I think at one point during the season, maybe in de December, I had already decided I was going to stay on longer. What was your thought process regarding the term? Like three years sounds like you know the, the amount of time. I, I don't want to put a finish date on you, but three years sounds. Well, like you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your last contract? That's what I'm asking. Hard to say. Hard to say. I mean, when when I stepped down in Carolina, I thought that was it. And then I came here for a couple of years, and now it's a few more years. And, you know, for a lot of years, people have asked me how long I'm going to do this. And most of those people that asked me, I've outlasted them all. So you guys better be careful asking me. <laughs> and and we, we tried to get him to sign a 15-year front loaded deal, but he wasn't interested. Jim, it seems like you have a really great relationship with Mike Sullivan. How much did that encourage you to want to stick around after the way you two work together? Uh, that made it a lot easier. You know, like I knew him a little bit before we hired him, but uh, obviously I know him a lot better now. Everybody knows what an incredible job he did and what a, what a terrific coach he is. But I got to know firsthand what a terrific guy he is, and I just really like him a lot. I like working with him. Uh, he's easy to work with. His whole coaching staff's easy to work with. But right now, we're and like I said earlier, it's easy to say when you win, but we have very good chemistry within this whole organization.